G'day, uh, Matt. <laughs> You're back here with the Long Riders. We saw yep. you in Urella. Yeah. And uh, here you are in Dubbo. So what have you been doing? Yeah, look, we've been on a, a few day ride. We've been up into the, um, the Opal Mines and we've just been on the road doing a lot of footage and just connecting with people. Flying the drone. Yeah, flying the drone, getting in trouble around the airports and all that sort of fun <laughs> stuff. Um, so that's been really cool. We had a great connection uh, with a young fella in town last night, um, Bruno, running an incredible ministry. And I think um, what, what, what identified with us and what we connected with was he has a real heart for the kingdom of God. And the fact that he's a tradie, reaching tradies, you know, yeah. so he's using the skills that, that he has and his personal passions and God's in that. And that yeah. was really exciting to see. So we'll definitely, um, yeah, we'll definitely be back working with him in the future for sure. So what's the plan? Well, I think what we'll do is we'll find out from Bruno what he'd like to do, you know, a few months down the track. We'll bring a crew of 20 or 30 guys out on the Harleys and that, and we'll just hang out with the blokes that he's connecting with, have some barbecues, lots of one-on-one -on -one conversations. Um, you know, the great thing about long riders is everybody's got a story and every story's valid. Mm. So you have lots of different personalities, lots of different testimonies. So to have people come out and share, you know, turning their lives around, what made that happen. I think the thing that I really got from Bruno is he gets it. He gets the, the fact of being yourself and being real and that's attractive to people. Mm. Um, especially one on one, mm. you know, and especially blokes in Australia, that's attractive to meet people that you create a place, a safe place where people are vulnerable. And then as they're vulnerable and they, their trust builds with you one on one, they're going to share something of themselves. And to see how you react to that, or how maybe, you know, you're dealing with a relationship issue or a child issue or something like that, a work related issue, that speaks volumes of God's work in our life and I believe that the Holy Spirit really witnesses out of that so um, yeah we're really looking forward to coming back and spending okay. time with Bruno it would be great so what's the story like with, when you show up with a Harley it's going to be 20 blokes next time on yeah. Harleys what, I mean, what's the, what effect does that have does well I, I probably most people have seen uh, bikers on the road so um, usually there's or a bit heard. of or heard that's right yeah, you'll hear them um, yeah there's a bit of a presence when that happens definitely um, and we find that when you roll up somewhere, all eyes are on you straight away. Uh, now, some people eyes are on you because they're trying to work out, oh, is this the, the good guys or the bad guys? You know, the good, bad, and ugly type thing. Um, are you getting and, into the ugly bit? Or? Well, not me personally, but some of the other guys. <laughs> you only got to look at them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think there's a real opportunity there. Most most blokes have like like bikes or have seen bikes yeah. and that. Um, so usually when we show up, people want to sit, look at the bikes. They want to meet people. And when they find out that these rough, tattooed dudes mm -hmm. with great stories and, and great life transformations are very down to earth and very real, um, there's a real openness there. And so mm -hmm. I think that initial, like, well, who are these guys? Yeah, yeah. It becomes attractive. Like in town yesterday, we were in one of the Opal shops and just pulled up out the front and people were walking past and stopping and talking to us. And they mm -hmm. were all people who ride. Mm. You know, and so I think there's a real common thing, um, like Bruno with the tradies, with us with the motorbikes, when you pull up at a pub or somewhere, people are straight away, oh yeah, yeah I ride, and they want to talk to you. There's a, it's almost like the barriers are down straight away mm. to find out what's your story and to be able to listen to someone else's story as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's fantastic. So it's a great connection. You're based in Newcastle? Yeah, so we're based in Newcastle. We have chapters right through Australia. Um, so there's probably about, I think, 200 or so long riders. <laughs> like I said, every... do. I mean, obviously, with long rides, you... where do you go? Like, you yeah, well, we kind of, we kind of, oh yeah, yeah, we kind of have rides all the time. You'll find us on Facebook. Um, we have a YouTube channel. Um, we run a biker church once a month as well. And that's an environment where anybody's welcome. We always say that biker church is about everyone's welcome, everyone's valued, and everyone's going to be encouraged. Mm. And so that's really the, the idea. And we're not trying to replace a mainstream church service or anything like that. It's purely just a, a mission. Yeah. Uh, and so you'll find bikers will bring their families and their kids. Oh, right, and yeah. so we usually go for a ride and then we'll have like church in the park. We'll put on a free lunch and that. And it's a great way of people, you know, they're not feeling contained within four walls or yeah. walking into an environment that, that for them doesn't make sense. I mean, if you don't believe that there's a God, going somewhere where there's worship and that is 
it doesn't really make sense, you know. But to see a bunch of blokes on bikes and then you ride a bike, you think, oh, I might have something in common with those guys. And so that that tends to be, yeah, definitely a great a great pool. And some of the guys that are with us this weekend have come to faith through Biker Church and then you know, ended up being part of the club. Excellent. Okay. Which is it, yeah. And you love it. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't get much better than... Yeah, we're all Christians, we love God, and to be able to ride Harleys in our great country, I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Well, this is the first ride you've had for a while. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, that, being out of lockdown, I think when um, when all the restrictions lifted, the day after that, a few of us just hit the road and did a couple of nights yeah, on the road, yeah, yeah. Um, and getting away here, and, you know, we've been to Narrabri, Lightning Ridge, um, Garwin, yeah, obviously Rowan. here, Rowan, yeah, Rowan. yeah, so that that's an interesting place, yeah. <laughs> interesting people. Um, but that was really cool, and then obviously here, and then we'll go home today, and and then while most people would say, oh well, you probably won't go for a big ride again, we'll be out as soon as we can. <laughs> if we could all live on our bikes, like literally live on them or make a living on them, we'd do it. You okay. know, it's just yeah, yeah, it's absolutely, it's a real passion riding and, and lots of fun, and and not only the camaraderie between each other, but when you're on the bike and you got your helmet on, it's just you alone with your thoughts, yeah. and I think there's a real there's a real benefit, mental health, to that, but also time with God as well, just being able to be alone with Him and appreciate nature, and it's great. Excellent. Well, Matt, thank you very much, and uh, good riding today. Yeah, 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 thanks for having us here, and we really feel blessed to be able to stay here for the night, and yeah, I'm sure we'll connect again. Yeah, we're already expecting you're all going to roll out the swag, but no, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're getting soft. <laughs> good on you, Matt. All right, thanks. Pleasure.